struggling. Maybe China. But China be, isn't. But Turkey is struggling. That is, that is why I keep saying that strategy depends on the rank of the ladder you occupy. Okay. You need to look at your contest. Strategy also depends on your goal. Mm. Let me give an example. If our goal is to increase productivity, mm. then increasing monetary policy rate is not the right measure to drive productivity. Mm. Because remember, our contest for me is that part of the problems of our uh, 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 that causes inflation is lack of supply. Mm. Ghanaians generally don't scale in our production. Mm. So therefore, if you, make, you bring policies that stop them from scaling up, you are actually reducing supply. And the moment supply goes down, you are actually increasing the demand mm. for it, and it will cause more inf inflation. Mm. I will tell you one basic thing, and mm. I know you will say it debatable. Yeah. One of the things our economists should be doing is focusing on behavioral nature of the Guinean. Behavioral economics tells you that a people's behavior determines whether how they behave in the economy. Mm. We, 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 we talk as if the small percentage of people who live in Accra, Kumasi, Takradi, and Tamale, and who are the elite, mm. uh, who drink coffee every morning, represent 90% of the people mm. who eat uh, uh, fufu mm. or wache in the morning. The, the way what you eat in the morning affects how you, you behave as a, as a person. Mm. So the point I want to make, and, and you, you, you made us digress into this <laughs> inflation thing. The point I want to make is that as a strategist, you need to look at what is the context within which you are operating. So, for example, the driving more listeners to your, your radio station or your TV station, mm. the strategy for that is different from driving more clients to a law firm yeah. or driving more people who buy cars. Yeah. Each of these strategies must mm. be context-specific. Mm. If you simply listen to what politicians say, what economies say, monetary policy increases, etc., you may be using the wrong measurement to be driving your business strategy mm. and business growth when those things may not really but be the determinant. But isn't that one thing that sometimes runs through? That is why certain banks here in Ghana, I don't want to mention their names, would often wait for that strategy from their seniors in Dubai or in Cayman Islands or in Mauritius to guide the bank strategy, which I, I, over I, I, the years, I, I, I think once again we are or yeah, tactics. Let think, me use that word, which has no, worked. No, for tactic them. is different. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> the, the change. But I think once again we are mixing up two okay. things. We are mixing up strategy with the results of strategy. Okay, and how we measure performance. Performance, performance measurement is global. Okay, if your return on capital is X percent, that's what it is. I can't have a different standard than you. If your cost of production is this. That's the standard. It's very global. Mm -hmm. What leads to you getting that return on investment or your being able to meet those benchmarks is a different thing. The contest is different. Mm. That is the reason why you see, just to use an example, KFC may want to change the taste of their food to fit a bit of local consumption. Mm. Some of the foreign fast foods are now doing jollof. Yeah. which you will not find in New York if no. you go to New York. You have to no. contextualize it because what you want to do, your strategy is to boost consumption and sales. The people here are not drinking coffee. Mm. They are eating jollof in the morning. Yeah. So give yeah. them jollof. And that is what strategy is about. It's context specific. Mm. If, if your principal in New York gave you a benchmark that I need you to have this return on investments, and I do that because when people buy a, a sandwich or they buy a beggar, mm. this is the result, and you keep producing beggar, you are selling only to George, you are and David. <laughs> the, the ordinary person from, excuse me, without meaning anything, from Butimejebu, may mm. not be eating beggar. Mm. You need, if you want to have him eat that food because it's urbanized, mm. you need to sell him maybe fried yam, mm. in a very nice way. Mm. So you make the same return on investments. Mm. If one is about standards, the other one is about the product and how to reach the people to mm. buy more. Mm. Let's come to the, 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 the macro situation and how its impact on that tactics and strategy. And one would not forget about the 2024 budget. There are some who would say that it still breeds a lot more uncertainty than thinking that this is what government is going to do. Well, I mean, uh, one of the challenges I have had, and, and this is not the first time I'm saying this, is that any time we have had challenges with our economy, and again, I've said we go to the IMF every 3.8 years mm -hmm. on the average. So mm -hmm. anytime we've had these challenges, the typical approach is to restore financial stability and macroeconomic stability. Mm -hmm. But it appears our approach to that is towards destroying the micro. 
So we intend to create the macro stability by overtaxing the micro. That's a big challenge. Yeah. And it constantly prevents businesses from scaling up. Mm. So I'm not oblivious about the macro environment mm. and the fact that there's a steady macro environment mm. allow businesses to thrive. Mm. So that's a fact. Yeah. However, I, I think to the extent that the macro is often dictated by external forces, mm. especially when we go to borrow, I mean, mm. uh, uh, the micro enterprises should be putting their strategies in a way that as much as possible mm. causes them to depend less and less on policies of the government. Mm. Because the more you depend on those policies of the government, the more it affects you. I mean, mm. we all know what happened to the banks and mm. the, the liquidity challenges that they have had. Uh, there is a proposal to give some liquidity stability support to the banks, etc., etc. Again, this is recurring after the 2017 financial mm. challenges that, that we had. Obviously, bank businesses will borrow from banks. I don't have any doubt about that. But I'm saying in any sector that you can depend less on government policies or government expect government policies to be the basis of your growth, as much as you can depend less on it, the better Someone it is. Say in, in an economy like Ghana, it is quite difficult. It is. Where government spending stimulates a lot of things for you to where if you're a contractor and you've done projects for government and you're waiting for money being paid, it has to be paid for it to be given back to the banks to stimulate lending. Some would but say but that, 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 is, that, that, is, that is a quite that's, that's difficult why, thing. That is why strategy is important. So if your business, like a contractor, and I represent quite a number of contractors, mm. <laughs> so <laughs> I understand this business mm. very well. I mean, uh, just yesterday I was talking to one of them who is owned uh, about a quarter of, uh, uh, about, let me say, about approximately $25 million. And it's almost b b getting him go uh, bankrupt, I mean, so to speak. So I understand the situation. But a good strategist will then understand diversification mm. and will understand that as a business of that nature, you need to diversify. Mm. Why? Because a good business strategist will tell you that if more than 20% of your income is from one source, you're already in danger. Mm -hmm. So if your entire income as a contractor comes from government, then you should begin to be looking at are there private sector construction that I can do? Mm. And if still I want to do the remaining construction. Mm. Uh, you, you know, there were quite a number of Chinese firms who were in this, I don't know how many of them you still see being very active, yeah. especially since the, the DDEP and the debt restructuring. A few of because them. it was all dependent on government, or mostly. Mm. It kind of slowed down. Mm. It will return. It's a cycle, mm. I, I, I know. But a business strategy is to begin to learn how to diversify. I've spoken to a contractor who is going into agribusiness mm. uh, and, and diversifying the portfolio. Mm. You may also, and construction is, I, I mean, I've, I've talked about construction sector. In different sectors, you may need to find other sources of generating income. Mm -hmm. Frankly, there are three ways to actually generate income. You increase the price of what you are already selling you sell more of what you already have been at the same price or find new sources where you have not previously sold. So a good strategist will say that in the context of all these challenges I'm facing because I'm dependent on government, which of these three options do I use in order to diversify my mm. portfolio mm. and generate some incomes, income which as much as possible does not depend solely on government? I'll be still be coming back to the budget because it looks like it is still a major area that will yeah. shape what you have to do. This is PM Express.